Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody doing good out there. Uh, I wanted to touch on a couple of things. You know, I was just, you know, wondering, like, okay, say you break up with your your baby daddy or your kid's daddy or, or your kid's father or whatever you want to call it. Um, what would you... uh? do like uh after years later you so what you're saying you're giving up with him you know you'll start being talking to him i mean i'm just i'm just trying to i'm just trying to figure it out because when a man is down and i i have talked about this multiple times when a man is down he's good to call you for your help. But when he's the back up on his feet, he's good to just leave you. And I'm just thinking to myself, I mean, don't no woman or nobody to deserve that. Because uh you better than that. So um to me, excuse me, to me, I think you you women out there to all you women that's looking for love or is thinking about getting back with your your uh your husband or your kid's father after so many years i think you need to watch it because you know he could be going through uh, um a problem right now he could have some issues right now <laughs> And he's down and out, and he may need you. But after all the years that he's been gone out of your kid's life, and all the years he's been gone out of your life, where were he then? That that's where I would look at the the thing. At. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying because I don't have any children. I'm not saying not to be there for your kids, father. You know, I'm not going to say even if he decide that, you know, y'all talking on and off, on and off, that uh, he wants to get back with y'all. He want y'all two to get back together. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying watch what you're getting into because I think you, I think me personally, you should lead a path where the path is at. That's what I think. Because the past is going to be the past, and you can't change it. So, um, I asked a lot of people. I interviewed a lot of women. Would they um, would they get um take their kids' father back after so many years. I mean, uh, a, a lot of women asked me and told me it's kind of hard to say. I, I remember one woman asked me, she said, okay, I'm going to put you like this. She said, you're gay, right? I said, yeah. She said, so if you and your partner had kids, and y'all broke up. She said, but y'all broke up right now. I said, yeah. She said, so would you take them back on, on, on front of her other children? And I had said, I don't think so. I said, I think that, I think the past should be left in the past. I said, that's the way I feel about it. And I said, and then that's, I mean, I said, that's just how I feel. The past is the past, you know? And uh, she said, sometimes your kid's father have go through some trials and tribulations. But she said, by that being your kid's father, you, 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 you want to be there for your kid's father because the trials and tribul tribulations he's been, he, he been through or he's going through. You want, you want him to know that he do have a friend because he might not have nobody to guide him. He might not have nobody for that support. 
And I and I got to thinking what the lady was saying. And I was saying to myself, Well, okay, yeah, she could be right. I said, but like you you be there for him and you support him and you help him through his time, his trials and tribulation or his time and need. Okay. And he down on his luck right now. But when he get up on his feet and stuff like that, he just push you to the side. I mean, how does that how does that work? I mean, does that make sense? I mean, is that right? Because I look at it like that. No, nah, that's not right because I think that if I was there for you when you was down and out in your time of need, I think you should appreciate me when you get up on your feet. That's the way I look at it. I think that you should appreciate me. I think you should appreciate, well, okay, this person was there for me. I wouldn't even there for this person in his time or her time of need when we were together. I used this person. And I, I would just think it to myself, don't use me. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's be there for each other. We don't, you know, one thing I've learned, you don't have to be with somebody to be there to lift them up. You don't have to be there for somebody to be friends with them or be there. You know what I'm saying? You can just be there just to lift them up, to hold them up, to show them that I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I want you to know that. It might not seem that I'm here for you, but I'm here for you. Don't sit there and try to use that person uh, because you got up on your feet and then you got up on your feet and when you were down on your feet, you were down on your luck, you wasn't trying to, you, you, I mean, she was there for you. But now, what if it goes, what if the tables turn to the fact that, okay, she down on her luck now and you up on your luck, would you help that, would you help her? Would you help her the way she helped it you? Or would you just let her just be down and go through the process of her, her trials and tribulations all by herself? I mean, those are the things that I think about. I mean, is I know life is going to be life. I know that. I mean, I know you're going to have trials and tribulations. You're going to have things that you go through. But at the end of the day, I think that when you have children together, whether they grown or not, I think you should be still able to get along. I think y'all should still be able to be friends. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter. Because that's just like, oh, this is another question I wanted to ask. If your kids are grown and it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, would you allow your partner, your ex-partner, your kids for spouse, all y'all have a blended family and come over and have a uh, dinner? Or do you think you couldn't do that? Would that be something that you couldn't put up with or find yourself putting up with? Because that's just, that's just going out of your character. Or, or do you think that um, you couldn't see your kids far from the life? Yes. Or would you, okay, or I'm going to put it to you like this. Do you think that you can be with somebody else? Because I've seen a lot of this happen in a lot of relationships. Do you think that you, you be with somebody else? But you don't want him to be with nobody else. What about that? That's what I want to know. And I want y'all, everything that I'm seeing in this video today, I want y'all to comment about what I'm saying. The one thing I want y'all to comment about is, do you think 
that you with someone, but just because you with someone, you don't want him to be with no one. Because you still got that love for him. And you want him to be lonely. Because I've seen a lot of that in a lot of relationships. And I used to always tell myself, "Mm -mm, that ain't right. That is not right. Because I think when the relationship is over, the relationship is over. I think you go your way, I go my way. We can still be friends or we can't. Or we just, hey, cut all ties. And that's another thing I want to talk about, child. Do you think you can be friends with your enemies? I always wanted to know because me and my ex, I tried to be friends, but we can't be friends with each other. We can't. We cannot be friends with each other. I'm sorry. We can't. So that's why I would ask to y'all. And then, I mean, or do you think, because I see a lot of relationships are torn, and I see a lot of people uh get get upset with each other. But I'm trying to figure out, would you do you would you keep in mind that the kids come first? Even though y'all have problems, the kids come first. So how do you think how do you I mean, what do you think about that? Or do you think that you just don't it doesn't matter. You all the way mad, you all the way don't want to see your ex-partner with nobody. That's the only thing that matters to you. Because if that's the way you think, you think it wrong and that's sick on the way you think it. And, uh, that was just a, it's a lot. And then another thing I had to say, but I had to remember back in the day, it was the elder men that were, was saying what they did. That was another subject I wanted to, to talk to y'all about. Uh, and I, cause I was thinking to my, my mind, I was like, only men and people that sag is gay. But I remember back in the day, it used to be elder men that said they used to sag a lot. So I guess it, I mean, I guess it's just the, uh, some people, it's, it's, I can't even pronounce the word. It's something that the people think and say that it's an expectation that being just because you're saying and you're gay, you know. And I think that don't necessarily mean true because, hey, it's a trend. Everybody is saying, you know, they're just like hey, uh, boys. Everybody thinks because the uh, men, men care purses that they got. You know how they be wearing them crisp shoulder length purses bags and stuff like the women. They think just because they do that they're gay and that's not true. It's a fashion. It's a fashion statement. That's just the trend. You know what I'm saying? But y'all like it. I think it's cute. I really do. Um, so I mean I was just like you know people underestimate them assume in other words they assume because if you're sad you're a guy if you carry a purse you're a guy or if you carry a purse across your shoulder you're a guy if you got uh braids in your hair you're a guy if you uh got tracks in your hair, your hair you're a guy no that's not true that is not true because if you if you go back in the elder days the African, the African, they wear dreads in their hair. They they wore braids in their hair. So, um, I don't I don't believe that's true. And matter of fact, and in Africa, they did carry them little them little them little pouches around their neck going like that. So, uh, I don't I don't I don't believe that you should assume someone is gay because. The fashion, the fashion statement, or because of what they wear. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. You know, I believe everybody should be able to wear what they want to wear, 
and, and whatever kind of fascination statement they're trying to make, I think they should be able to want to make it. Because, hey, we in a world today is where we stepping up and it's all about passion. So, I do think that. Uh, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, excuse me, but I have, yeah, I've been so, like, ugh. For the last couple of days, I, I've been like out of there. I was on my body has just been so tired and tired and dry. But um, I still been coming on, on here recording because I love my uh, my YouTube fam. I love my YouTube support. I love y'all. Y'all give me much love. Y'all really do. You know, y'all help me get through my days, my nights. Y'all encourage me to keep going on and, and, and fighting. And stuff, y'all encourage me to do a lot. I love y'all, I really do. And uh, yeah, I just had my son over here and uh, my gay son because you know, I don't have no real children. I was saying my gay son, and I told him that I was about to have company, so uh, he had to leave. So I kind of uh, because he came and go to sew for me, but I guess my wife and child don't, don't get a twist. I do every time he goes to sew, I do give him a little money. But anyway, uh, I think he kind of got upset because I just ain't been to allow nobody else to stay in my house because the people that stayed in my house last time, I went through a lot. Everything in my house was stolen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be use my head and, and, and do the right thing and not, and not just go off of trying to help always helping people. I'm trying to Listen to what God said. God lead me in the white way. Now God put on my heart and touch my heart and say, yeah, let him stay or let him stay out loud. Then it'll be a different story. But God is not letting me say that right now. You know, right now God is saying to me, because my issue is, I and my new friend that I talk to every day, I always tell me this, you always, he said, I'm going to tell you this, you think about, other people more than you think about yourself and i never did think it think about it like that i don't think i think about it i don't like to see nobody homeless because i was homeless i even like when i used to go downtown i used to catch the bus i see all these homeless people that i used to say i wish i could just get a big old house or something and let them stay in there because especially be, be just imagine y'all being homeless and uh, staying on the street and it's cold. Being homeless now, and, it, and it's a hundred and some degrees outside. Cause you know, Texas is hot. It's hot in Texas. It is so hot. You know, I don't wish homeless on nobody, you know. And right now I pray to God, I pray to God that the people, oh, excuse me, that the people off this homeless right now got somewhere to go. They got staying in some kind of cool environment. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hot outside. It's hot. It is so hot outside. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 you know, it's sad what the world come to that we ain't got. You know, you, you can walk up and down the street and you, don't, you see our elder laying up alongside the street, homeless. You see, oh, uh, uh, families, kids with babies, or the, the the two parents have children with babies laying across the street, and then they can't go get a job because it's hard to get a job. You can't can't hardly find no work. You know what I'm saying? And then because one of my friends went to day labor at six o'clock, and he was at day labor all the day, all that day, until uh. Until they, call, until they call him and he still didn't get the chance to catch out it's horrible it's horrible it is horrible you know society is a messed up I mean Trump really messed up uh, messed it up uh, he really did he really did um, and did y'all see it on the news today they were talking about him you know he was on the news and stuff like that trying to get him to see the second term. I don't think they should put him in the seat of second term. 
I, it, it, I, because it's pitiful. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. It is exactly pitiful. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I. I couldn't even I couldn't even finish watching the movie because it, it had kind of made me upset and it made me angry because the way they talked about how he did it in twenty twenty. Because I mean he, he was just trying to know he had lost the presidency, but then he was trying to uh get it to where people uh uh the people that working for him bribed him, bribed the other people. To throw the uh the throw the vote so he can get back in the seat. Come on now, why would you do something like that? Why would you hurt the nation? That's that's man. That ain't. I mean, that's not what's up. Yeah, that's not what's up. But y'all, I'm gonna get off over here because I know y'all us uh, to see the finals and all, and y'all want to watch Golden State versus Boston. All, all my ball, uh, Golden State players out there. Yeah, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. But I just wanted to say to the female, if you do decide to uh, take your uh, your kids' father's dad, whether uh, they grown, or whether over the years y'all been apart for so long, or uh, y'all haven't, uh, excuse me, just remember, watch what you did and with. You know, uh, Keep keep your eye here because don't let don't let them me use you. You know, and just watch what you did with it because it's important that you watch what you did with it because he can be down and just you and just want to use you at that time. But then when he uh up, he don't want to have anything to do with you. Just remember, watch that. It's very important, y'all. But to all my females, I love y'all and y'all. Y'all, y'all is God. Listen, y'all strong women. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Bye.